Hi everyone, it's Sue and I have got um, an unboxing and I've got some projects to show you that I have been doing so please stick around um, while I do my unboxing and I'll show you some of the projects that I've been up to recently. Now this parcel was from Auntie Vera, Scrap and Clock Craft and she had some um, things on special on in her store so even though I said I was not going to spend any money I was not going to buy any more stock uh, or supplies for my craft room well I did um, I just couldn't help myself um, no excuses I just couldn't help myself so I did so I have this parcel um, and I have already opened the lid because there's this damaged bit here and I was really concerned that um, something might have been damaged or not in my parcel. So thank you very much Australia Post for treating the parcel, you know, really carefully. Um, uh, today I had oh, a really bad day, really bad day. I'm not going to go into too much detail but what could have gone wrong did um, and by the time it was time to go home all I wanted to do was come home I got into my car um, started the car as normal started out the car park at work glanced up and thought oh there was quite a large crack in my windscreen it was actually in the shape of a question mark which is really weird um, it was about probably I'm just thinking um, It'd be at least 20 centimeters from the edge up the middle of the windscreen in like a question mark so it's like that sort of a shape uh, I don't know how it happened there was no other evidence that anything had been thrown at the car or anything like that but that just kind of topped my day so I'd already got the notification from my parcel locker to go and collect this. So I thought, yes, something good's happening. So I popped along, got the parcel out, and then thought, oh, why has it got a big dent in it? Because this is actually the second one. The last parcel I received also had a dent in it. It didn't have a big hole like this one. It just had a dent. So I thought, oh, no, don't tell me there's something missing, really. Anyway, so I did have a quick look, opened it, had a quick look, and thank goodness um, it's all there. Uh, probably I think because it's all very well stuck down so it's, it doesn't move um, and it would have been look if someone really had tried to take anything they'd really be pushed to do it I think but anyway this is my goodies so um, I had to buy some new uh, glitter glue love this stuff so I did actually buy another bottle was tempted to get the big one but I thought, oh, I don't know, I'll just get the smaller one again. So I did. So happy to have that. My other one's almost out. Uh, now these, these were kind of what spurred me along in the first place. Um, so <laughs> thanks, Vera. Um, yeah, I really didn't need to see these on sale. have wanted these for quite some time. Excuse the noise, but... They're the, um, the Tim Holtz uh, collage papers, sort of into the collage papers at the moment. So I thought, oh, wow, well, we've got to have some. This one's document, um, and let's open it and find out, because I intend to play with these later. It's like Christmas, I tell you. Ooh, look at that. It's like very fine tissue paper. Oh, look at that. Ooh -hoo. <laughs> Boy, am I looking forward to this. Oh, they're brilliant, aren't they? I'm not sure if they're still on sale. I only ordered them, oh, not long ago, three, four days ago. So pop along if, you, if you're interested and see if they're still on sale because um, they were certainly well worth it. So that's awesome. I can't wait to play with that. I love these containers too. don't know what I'll do with them, but I really like them. And the other one is type... Typography or typography, uh, which is probably in another language. Let's have a look. And this one, ooh, this is nice too. Look at that. Wow, hope you can see that. If you're into collaging, this is really nice. And it's so light as well, so it really is tissue paper. So that's going to be brilliant to use. 
And I'm just thinking, that would probably, I'm just having a look if I've got anything I can see. Let me just grab something. Let's have a look. Alright, so we've got this here. I'm just thinking, yeah, you'd be able to stick that over the top and be able to see through as well. So that's awesome. Hehe, <laughs> really happy to have those. Really happy. Okay, get that out of the way. Alright, so that's that. Now, what else we got? Oh, the, I've got some washi tape. Um, here we go. Oh dear. Well, maybe I should have opened all of these beforehand. Alright. Oh dear, I've made a mess of this. Okay, so we have a pen which says the Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. Nice. Always, always need pens, always losing pens. And of course the business card. Might, well, I've got a couple of those now. I might have to conveniently leave it somewhere. Now we've got, this is the Auntie Vera washi tape. This was a Halloween one. This was on sale. But I figured, you know, it comes back every year. And I love doing Halloween stuff. And we've got this one. This one's gorgeous. It's like, it's pink with blossoms and little birds. I'm not sure if I, let me see if I can get it close enough. So that's what that one is. That's gorgeous. And I'm aiming to do a Chinese Asian style journal. So I think that will go really well with that. So they're nice. Now papers. And again, I've got some papers that will go with my Asian style journal. Let's see. This one here, Stamperia. Um, and it's kind of got like I thought I'd make use those as journaling cards or something. I thought that would be great for that. That's gorgeous. Stamperia does some beautiful papers. I really like their papers. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I think from memory there was only one of these left because I did want two. How am I going to decide which side to use? Seriously. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, that's going to be a tough decision, that one. And this one was also a Stamperia. Um, and I think this one, yep, this one was also the Oriental sort of asian -y style. So I got two of those because um, I thought, well, they'll definitely look great in a journal. So that's those two. Now this one I thought for Easter, how cute is that? Really, that is gorgeous. And look how simple you could make cards with these. A nice pastel um, card base and just cut these out maybe stick a few flowers or something like that so maybe three-dimensional little eggs or something um, easy easy Easter cards I'm all for easy in case you haven't gathered that already I don't have a lot of time to make stuff so if it's um, quick and easy then I'm for it but they're, they're gorgeous I love that that's an authentic paper it's called Cottontail Oh, very cute. And it's got a quote from William Shakespeare. April has put a spirit of youth in everything. William Shakespeare. Hmm. I'd be able to I'll use that. Now this one um, goes along with the sort of the vintage theme that I'm into. This is um, a Kaisercraft documented. And it's the Library Ephemera. So I really liked that one as well. Some of these were on sale, some of them weren't. I can't actually remember which were. Make every day your best day. I think the um, Stamperia were on sale and possibly the Kaiser Craft. I'm not sure. You'd have to have a look on the website. And, oh, there's something else here that I did not order, I don't think. It's got the little sticker that says, Just for you. Ooh, nice. Mm. Oops, what have we got here? Let's have a look. Oh, wow, look at that. What's it say? Something is usually the protection of... It's actually got... Oh, you can see it's got writing as well as the elephants. That's really lovely, isn't it? I like that. And it's that one is made in South Africa. Okay. Percentage of the sales of this paper collection will be donated to the Wildlife Conservation Network. Oh, nice. And the other side. Sort of like a tree bark, maybe. 
hopefully not elephant skin not sure oh and we have another one look at this one and I might have to make some sort of a, a wildlife journal oh look at these there's that one rhinoceroses and more rhinoceroses or rhinoceros yeah rhinoceros so that's also lovely as well and the backs of those neutral kind of a background I like having the neutral background don't have to worry about which side I'm going to use <coughs> excuse me all right and another one with the elephants as well that's lovely too very nice muted colors very um, serene I think's the word and another neutral background Hmm, what have we got here? This one's a Kayser Craft Summer Splash Collection. Peach, oh sorry, beach umbrellas. And you can see, I guess, looking down. Ooh, nice. Uh, hang on, got to work out which way it goes. Possibly that way. So it looks like we've got the water coming into the sand and these are all people on the beach. Nice. Okay. Awesome. So that's my little collection of goodies. Oh, I can't wait to use these. All right, so just pop this out of the way and all the rubbish. Now, what I was going to show you, I've been, I have some scraps left over from the uh, projects that I did for Auntie Vera um, for this month. Now what I've done, this one I'll show you this first, and this was thanks to uh, Wendy Mason, and I'll pop her link to the video. Um, she did a dog one, um, because the creative team, or the Auntie Vera Scrap um, and Craft, there's sort of a competition between dogs and cats going on. So if you go to the Facebook group, and you pop um, a cat something that's to do with cats then the cats get a point um, if you put something with dogs dogs get a point um, I, I think personally cats are going to win because well you know I'm a cat lover so I think they're going to win anyhow this is my little pocket letter that I made based on um, Wendy Mason's it's slightly different because obviously I had different cards left and I have had to these were um, from the Echo Park collection, uh, I love my cat, and they were cut aparts or journaling cards. Some of them I actually had to cut apart because they wouldn't all quite fit on the the size. So I kind of did a little bit of cut and cut and paste it on. If you have a look at this one, it says, "Without my cat, my house would be empty." That one I had to cut around and I changed the wording slightly. Uh, this one here I cut from the back of one of the sheets, uh, which was this one. Uh, this one was a whole card that I cut to fit the pocket, and then these ones were all smaller ones. Um, I'll show you what they look like in a minute inside, but and this again was just a piecing sort of uh, thing. I cut out all the little pictures from the bits and pieces that I had and stuck them down. So that's that side. And then I cut a couple of strips and glued them on there. The most challenging part, I think, was actually punching the holes. It wasn't as easy as I first anticipated. I did do one side, cut the holes, then glued the second one on and cut the holes. But um, it was really hard to get the hole punch through. I have, I have two hole punches. I've got one of those just cheapy ones, which was actually bigger holes, which was the size I wanted. But I just couldn't get it through the the plastic and the the thicker paper so I ended up having to use my um, this thing whatever it's called I've forgotten what it's called now this thing <laughs> um, so they kind of got a little bit messy in parts but anyway I think they worked out well now each little pocket there's nothing in here yet but what they are like, so this is where I'm slightly different to Wendy's because I was using more of my scraps. So all I did was cut a strip like so. Um, it was would be two and a half inches by seven inches because it's three inches that way, three and a half inches that way. So that's all I did and then I glued those pieces on. So the idea is um, 
to send it and if I was putting goodies or bits and pieces in there I can pop them I've got some little plastic bags I can use or possibly they'd be okay just popped in there could also put a little bit of washi tape um, over the top to stop things falling out um, I didn't really have any suitable washi tape so I couldn't really use Wendy put washi tape on hers but I couldn't actually do that because I didn't have any suitable washi tape. What I did do is I made a sort of a, I don't know, tassel -y thing out of some brown ribbon, some red ribbon and some sari silk. I tried to tone it in with the colours there that I had and I've put a little cat charm um, here. I'll just lift that up a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Maybe, maybe and it's a bulb pin there so that was my pocket letter I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet don't know I find it very hard to give some things away because I don't know you know you spend so much time on them so I don't know the other thing what I did was when I was making the one of the projects I had some paper left over some painted paper left over um, they were the, the, what are they called, ATCs, um, and that video will be, will be out soon, keep an eye out for it. Um, I made some ATCs, and I had some little pieces left over, and of course I had other bits of the um, Echo Park I Love My Cat paper left over. So I've got some photocopy paper, just plain photocopy paper, and then I glued them all down, then with my sewing machine, which... Oh, didn't really like it because it actually did put a hole in it over here which I wasn't too impressed at but I zigzag stitched now I'll just see if I can there we go you can see where I've zigzag stitched I think I got everywhere so it's I guess like a Franken paper or something now I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet really not sure so if you have any ideas please leave a comment and let me know oops sorry wrong way I'm trying to make it closer so yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Maybe I could scan it or photocopy it and make some more ATCs or maybe postcards actually, postcards with it, not sure. But I've got that to play with. Now the other thing I wanted to just very quickly show you, um, a long time ago, probably 12 months ago, uh, I saw a lot of people doing a memory decks cards and at the time I really really wanted to do them but I couldn't find um, a roller decks or anything so I kind of left it to the side and decided oh well you know but recently when I was in the op shop I saw this one complete with cards and thought you know what I'm having that <laughs> because <laughs> you know I told myself I wasn't buying any more stuff but I wanted it so well I was naughty I got it and I've been spending my evenings just making some of these little memory decks cards so this is a little one now this was a road book um, our Melways road book under there and I had a little bus so I thought that was kind of cute with the word travel and there's a little bit of washi there and I just got a black sharpie and did a border now my other thing was um, I was undecided how you go about the back because when you put them in and you flip it they're upside down and that kind of messes with my head a little bit but anyway I thought mm, I don't know so they're upside down you can let me know if that's how they're supposed to be or if they're supposed to be the right way around I'm not sure anyway that's the other side so I'm just trying to use up little bits of and pieces you know the the paper was just from a paper pad the word contentment was from a magazine this pink in the background was from a magazine the little house was part of a ephemera pack so just using up bits and pieces my stash so that's that one well, very quickly I won't explain too much I think they're self-explanatory if I can get them out okay that one's a little penguin and it says oh happy day cute I thought someone actually gifted me that in some happy mail a long time ago so I thought it's about time I used it this one here um I think just trying to think that was something I painted with watercolors but I'm not sure where I think it was a stamp that someone also gifted me so that's cute as well 
Now this one here, basically I had a photo sitting on my desk of my cat that I didn't use when I did my scrapbook page and it's got glue on it I've just noticed. So that's my cat so I thought I might as well use that with a bit of scrapbook paper behind. And then this part here, this is from a book, a children's book that I had that was falling apart so I just used that as well. Oops, and this one was very similar, I guess, to something else that I've made for the Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft um, creative team, so keep an eye. <laughs> the cat is a Tim Holtz cat, um, the sentiment, which says, at my age, one must ration one's excitement. That's a dilutions one, and the background is a jelly print. So again, using up some of my stash. This one, there were three dimensional stickers that somehow I had acquired, and there's a jelly print on this side underneath and scrapbook paper there and it was funny when I was actually looking for the word that says delight I realized that this paper the right way up are actually little coffee cups oops sorry little coffee cups <laughs> but I, I didn't realize that at the time I thought oh well doesn't matter doesn't matter I'm not gonna fuss about it now this one is music paper at the back and these little images are from Amber K, I think it's Amber K Creative. She she used to be called Bella Rose. Um, they're just some printables, her little birds, which I have. Um, I love her stuff. She does some really great stuff. And this side, again, another one of her little birds. So very simple, but, you know, it uses up all your bits and pieces. Again, these, this one... Um, it's just bits of paper and that was also gifted to me it says adventure admit one and then we've got the mini mouse as well so again just bits of paper that one's very shiny that one I don't know if you can tell but that's that one and another cat one another cat image from the book before and um, a sleeping cat with a little pink doily so as you can see, I've been using up some bits and pieces, my scraps, and that's as far as I've got so far. I will eventually take all these other ones off and replace them with my own. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, thank you very much to those people who are commenting regularly. I do appreciate it. Sometimes it takes me a little longer to get back um, with a comment back because I'm just busy and it's not always possible to check them so thank you very much for commenting thank you very much for the thumbs up um, and thank you to all my new subscribers I am really hoping that I hit the 500 soon uh, because I have a couple of things that I have set aside for a giveaway so hopefully that will be soon um, other than that, I hope everybody is well. Um, I hope the toilet paper and associated virus will, um, well, resolve itself soon, hopefully, um, because I think people are just going crazy. Um, I haven't um, at the moment, but I'm now actually a little concerned because, you know, people are saying that the supermarkets are really being cleaned out and I don't have a lot in my cupboards so uh, let's hope that sanity prevails um, and things sort of even out and start to start to go more positive um, because well mm, I, I don't really want to think about the, the the consequences it's already going to have major issues I think for a lot of people so let's hope things settle down Alright, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.